Hello guys, hope you're all okay. You're all enjoying your life. You're all uh, doing practice of ultrasonography and also enjoying watching my videos. Once again, uh, I'm welcoming you in my ultrasound teaching videos. So before going to start, I would ask one thing. Uh, how you guys are getting along with this hot weather, this excruciating hot? I know it's really very hot, but it's everywhere. Uh, especially in Pakistan and India, it must be very excruciating here in England. Uh, to some extent, the weather settled when there is rain. Uh, the topic which I have brought to you, it is very important topic and that is hepatoblastoma. Hepatoblastoma is actually a tumor of the children and it involves most commonly liver. So this is the liver tumor specially seen in the children. Uh, less than three years of age and at time when you see that it uh, is likely that there would be some metastatic especially in 20 percent cases you would see metastatic status as well as far as this tumor is concerned it is uh, derived from hepatocyte so mesenchymal primitive is there so hepatoblastoma that's why the name has been given to it so for the clinical um, presentation is concerned sometime this uh, will be presented as without any symptoms this will be asymptomatic but as the liver grow as, as the uh, this tumor grows it will give rise to anorexia vomiting abdominal pain abdominal discomfort patient will present with abdominal discomfort so there are multiple investigations available uh, from the start it is better to have abdominal x-ray and on abdominal x-ray you will see there will be 50 percent calcification on the x-ray so it will give rise to suspicion that there is something underneath and then it will require ultrasonography on the ultrasonography you may be able to pick certain points like the uh, there will be a huge tumor on the on the liver uh, within the liver parenchyma it would be heterogeneous liver with cystic degenerative changes with necrosis and also calcification will also be there as far as CT scan is concerned, on the CT scan, you will pick uh, a different attenuation tumor and calcification will also be there. On scintigraphy, there will be an uptake on the scintigraphy. So how it will appear? So let's start watching these images. There are uh, some images related to ultrasonography. So I will show you how, how it will appear on the ultrasound. And uh, then after that, we have uh, some CT scan slices so you will pick the points how this will appear on the CT scan and we will discuss about the scintigraphy as well. So those who are practicing in uh, pediatrics, especially ultrasonography or CT scan or in radiology department, this would be a very important topic for them. So let's start watching these images. Hepatoblastoma is childhood malignancy and can be seen in less than three years of age. And for the confirmation, uh, you can have uh, abdominal x-rays, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI and scintigraphy. This is abdominal x-ray. On this abdominal x-ray, you can appreciate a huge radio opaque mass and these black arrows indicating the borders of the uh, mass. So you can appreciate well-defined round radio opaque mass pushing the intestine or bowel downwards so you can appreciate this uh, bowel has been pushed down so this is what uh, hepatoblastoma and this is child less than three years of age so this is a confirmatory so you can pick the point on this abdominal x-ray and then advise uh, ultrasonography ct scan mri and further workup this is another example of uh, hepatoblastoma on the abdominal x-ray this is an x-ray of a child. You can appreciate developing bones. Uh, chest is clear. Abdominal cavity is occupied by a large radio opaque mass. So you can appreciate a well-defined round large radio opaque mass pushing bowel loops downward. So bowel, look has, bowel loops has been pushed downward. So this was a primary investigation. So on primary investigation, the hepatoblastoma was picked and now further investigations were advised that were ultrasound ct scan mri and scintigraphy so now have a look how it will appear on the ultrasound imaging this is ultrasound abdomen of a child and uh, it shows that a large heterogeneous mass 
occupying the right lobe of the liver so this white arrow is indicating the mass while the another white down lower arrow indicating that it has compressed the IVC so far ultrasonic characteristics of the hepatoblast is concerned our hepatoblastoma is concerned it happens to be heterogeneous mass with a highly reflectivity many a time it uh, likely that it will demonstrate uh, calcification sometime there will be a cystic area sometime necrosis I may likely be having pseudo capsule um, this could be small or large maybe multiple or single so this is the characteristic of hepatoblastoma and the ultrasound imaging one another worth noting point is the tumor can splay or I mean if infiltrate the IVC or hepatic vein or portal vein because of its huge size this is a, a CT scan for the hepatoblastoma and here you can appreciate a well-defined large low density solid heterogeneous mass uh, without calcification so uh, in this image you cannot appreciate any calcification uh, but you can appreciate patchy enhancement and this uh, the patient age was 70 uh, 17 month old so this was a 17 month old child and you can appreciate a heterogeneous uh, mass without any calcification but uh, there is patchy enhancement so on that patchy enhancement uh, it uh, could be like uh, maybe central necrosis or uh, maybe degenerative changes so you need to look for the CT density and then you will be able to appreciate and differentiate between the soft tissue and the cystic components so this was one of the example of the hepatoblastoma on the CT scan so you have seen chest x-ray you have seen the um, ultrasound imaging how it will appear on the ultrasound imaging but the one particular uh, important noting point on the ultrasound was that it will display a hepatic or portal or IVC sometime it, it will compress them or maybe it might infiltrate the IVC at times this is another example of the hepatoblastoma here you can appreciate again a well-defined low density heterogeneous mass so this is a low density heterogeneous mass although uh, there is no calcification but calcification is likely like on the chest radiograph you can pick the calcification but on the CT scan particularly in this case there is no calcification mass is round mass is well defined and then another area patchy enhancement so patchy enhancement are there but without that you can also appreciate low level eco low density areas can be visible this could be either hemorrhage or could be necrosis so as I mentioned that uh, because of a large size there is possibility of degenerative changes there is possibility of necrosis so therefore whenever you bump into a large mass either on the ultrasound or on the CT scan or MRI you will appreciate there must be some central uh, cystic degenerative changes uh, in patchy fashion or there may be necrotic areas this is the MRI scan for the hepatoblastoma and you can appreciate T1 weighted images with low SI large mass with areas of increased SI contrast with blood and uh, low sagittal internal septated uh, septa can also be seen so this is what you can appreciate on the MRI so these were all images including abdominal x-ray um, ultrasound CT scan and MRI for the hepatoblastoma and again I would say this is a childhood malignancy and usually seen in less than three years of age when patient comes to you with a very huge belly abdominal distension so you must think of hepatoblastoma and straight away go for the uh, ultrasound or CT scan or abdominal radio radiograph whatever uh, available whatever is available at the time and at the, emer in, uh, at the emergency so do all these investigation and when there is a solid mass straight away go for the hepatoblastoma and you need to do it further workup scintigraphy is a nuclear medicine test uh, this is a particular type of a test used in nuclear medicine this department is called as nuclear medicine and what happens in a scintigraphy radioactive tracers are used so they 
travel into the bloodstream and reach to the organ and get all the information so radioactive are uh, radioisotopes attached to the drugs and they uh, these radioisotopes travels to the specific organ and taken up by the tissues and different sort of abnormalities as far as uh, uh, hepatoblastoma is concerned 99m technetium sulfur collide is used so uh, there would be a two activity one is angiographic phase and the second one is delay phase uh, uh, sulfur collide will show activity on angiographic phase uh, while uh, it remain photopenic photopenic mean there will be no activity on the delay scan so mean if uh, this sulfur collide is taken up by the tissue or by the uh, mass so this would definitely be hepatoblastoma because it is the characteristic of hepatoblastoma that it takes isotopes of technetium uh, 99 sulfur collide and on the imaging on the scintigraphy this will be confirmed that this mass is hepatoblastoma because it is a characteristic of hepatoblastoma that it takes uh, radio isotopes of uh, technetium 99 sulfur collide and it will show two activities activities on the angiographic phase and it will remain photopenic on the delay scan so this was all about the hepatoblastoma we confirm on the abdominal x-rays we confirm on the ultrasound imaging ct scan and mri beside this scintigraphy also uh, has been discussed so hopeful there will be no problem left and you will be easy uh, you will be able to pick uh, hepatoblastoma easily on the on all these images yes guys this was all about hepatoblastoma as you know hepatoblastoma is a childhood tumor especially those who are practicing in pediatric ultrasound they must be knowing that how it will appear i have also explained all these things related to ultrasound i have also explained the features uh, how it will appear on the ct scan i have also talked about the scintigraphy so this uh, video uh, covered all the important aspects of the hepatoblastoma hope you will not miss this hepatoblastoma when you uh, bump into or when you are scanning and you see some lesion or large mass in the liver uh, while scanning so uh, keep watching my videos um, keep giving me update uh, with some other new topic we'll see each other till then take great care of yourself bye bye